had this old boring gray desk that wouldn't sell at the shop. So the girls asked me to give it a good makeover. The new spring Prima collection had just launched and I thought this would be the perfect time to use one of the large stencils by CC Restyled. I opted for the floral matrix and as you can see, I used some silk paint and went to stenciling it. I used one of our Prima stencil brushes and dipping into my silk, offloading onto a paper towel, I simply put my brush down on the plastic and then swirled it into the open areas. And while this stencil is not a perfect repeating pattern, you can more or less line it up, fill in the blanks, and start repeating the pattern. Even if you can find some inconsistencies in the repeat, what we're going to add next is going to completely eliminate them from your view. This week has been nonstop getting ready for market. I feel like every time I sit down, I'm painting something and then putting transfers on it. If you saw my last video, you know, I've become a little transfer obsessed. So why should this table be any different? I have opened up the brand new spring release, Dark Floral, and I am so excited to see these beautiful muted colors. To make the most of my transfers, I love to use these pre-cut edges on the edges of my pieces. So here, I'm just sort of working them around to see how I'm going to like them lining up. I remember once upon a time, I thought transfers were stupid. Like, why would you pay that much money for something that's gonna go on one thing? What if you don't want flowers? I'm moving the transfer around till I find exactly how I want it layered. Then I'm gonna use the stick that came in the kit and just work it down. When you're ready to peel back the plastic layer on your transfer, if any of it hasn't stuck to the table, all you need to do is lay it back down. You can then use the stick just to work it again and it will all eventually stick to the table and your plastic will peel right up. It's been about three years now since I bought my first transfer and I can say, I absolutely want to put them on everything. And this new Prima release has been the absolute best thing I have ever seen come out in transfers. If you really wanna add dimension to your piece, don't just lay the stencil under it, layer it back over it. And I'm gonna use the new metallic sheen to do just that. I'm going to delicately stencil over the white areas, but I'm also going to go right over some of the edges of the transfer to create a layered look. This will blur the edges, giving it a ton of dimension. So today I actually made over these three signs. These were llama prints. I'm gonna drop them off for Anna tonight and she's gonna take them to market. And I bet they sell for more money than they were originally. All I have left to do now is give it a light sand with some 220 grit sandpaper and then give it a nice wax. Here I am using Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax in clear. So let's take a close up look of this finished project before we move on to project number two. I admit that this stencil wasn't originally my first choice, but I have to say, I love the final result. It is the perfect bit of pixelation on this desk. Then literally, these are all the stamps that came out this week from Prima. I, I can't even hold them all. For project number two, I have some old drawers from a previous staging piece of furniture, and I'm gonna use Dixie Belle's caviar and cotton. I'm just giving all of the drawer bases a good coat, actually two coats, and then all of the feet, I will also give two coats of the cotton. I mean, there's florals, there's words. Look how pretty that is. Sorry, apparently I lost the footage for me stenciling this, but I actually used Prima's last season damask stencil to stencil the inside of the drawers and I just used the cotton. Now I'm using the caviar to do a little bit of touch up. Don't worry, I'll leave links for everything in the description below. You know, when I was talking about the totes recently, I said with the new stencils that came out, between the stencils, the stamps, the small transfers, the new big transfers, I may never leave the shop. 
Right, so let's go ahead and give some of these stamps a try. Whenever using new stamps, it's important to use some sandpaper to lightly distress the top. This will allow your ink to better adhere to it and you'll get a crisper, better image. Simply apply your ink to the stamp and then once you sit it down, make sure you do not move it. I am gently applying pressure all over and then lifting it and you can see they come out beautiful with a ton of detail. And now that market's over, I actually get to focus on my own house. So you'll be seeing some videos coming soon on updates of what's happening there because this week we're gonna be able to start moving some of the furniture in. And that means that I finally get to start working on some of my own things because there's a little less for me to be responsible for. But Mark, I think you'll see some fun projects coming up with that as well as a recap of everything that we've had done. The house is looking amazing and I'm so excited to finally be almost ready to move in. I think we're only a few weeks away from being able to finally move in. And then we get the fun of putting our current house on the market and uh, getting everything ready before we can do that. So that's still several weeks away, but we're getting there. It's getting exciting. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And of course, all of the elements we use to make these projects are available at VintageBeeDesign.com. And since when have we had fairies? I can't wait to do fairies. And, and sheep. There's the dragonflies, and, and horses, and pigs, and, and there's matching molds for most of this too.